Tonight I'm going to be making baked portobello. I got this recipe um, off Everyday Italian with Giada De Laurentiis. And I may be doing it a little bit different than her, but it's so easy. It's a good vegetarian recipe that also has some protein. Well, here are the very few ingredients. First, you'll need um, a baking dish. And I just put a little olive oil in this because I'm out of the spray, but you can just spray it. Now she used, um, I think maybe a grill pan or a grill where she grilled her mushrooms, but I'm gonna be using this because it's dark and I don't wanna go outside. Okay, then you'll need portobello mushroom caps. I'm just using two, and here's what they look like. Um, and they say not to run this, um, run these underwater. You just take like a damp cloth or paper towel and just um, wash it off uh, with that because I guess the mushrooms soak up a lot of water. So how many ever caps that you need? You can take out these gills, but I'm just gonna leave them in, and I think she did too. Then you'll need um, some pasta sauce. I'm using this uh, tomato and basil. It was buy one, get one free. That's the only reason I have that kind. Then you'll need some mozzarella cheese, and this is a local dairy that I, I got this from. And then I have some Parmesan cheese to go on top um, to melt with that cheese. And that is all of the ingredients that you will need. The first thing you're gonna do is either grill or roast the portobello mushroom caps. And I'm not exactly sure how long, just do it until they're not completely soggy, but just um, just until uh, they're a little bit soft because you're gonna put them back in the oven to melt the cheese. So I'll show you that after I have uh, baked those for a little bit. Okay, this is what the mushroom looks like after you roast it, or if you want to grill it, you can do that, um, either one. And then I've already made this one for Joe. I put extra cheese on his. Now, what she did was put sauce underneath the mushroom too, um, but I just, I'm just putting it on top. So what you do first after you roast it, you just roast it till it's um, pretty soft, but not soggy. And then you just put whatever amount of sauce that you want. I'm gonna cover this pretty good just the top but if you want to do it like a casserole you can put some on the bottom but she didn't really do it like a casserole she just spread the sauce on the bottom first maybe that helps it not to stick um, but I had also um, not on camera I put a little olive oil on the uh, mushroom just a little bit so that it would um, roast better but the spray would do better if you had it just kind of spray the mushroom so put the um, sauce on there i don't know exactly how much just how much ever covers your mushroom then i measured out an ounce of the mozzarella cheese i had a few little pieces so of course i had more than an ounce but an ounce is going to do good on the this smaller cap and you just put it all around there we go you just kind of spread it out and of course it'll melt and then I'm going to take about a tablespoon or a little over of the Parmesan and that'll add about two extra grams of protein to the, I believe it's seven that is in the one ounce of cheese. So that's pretty good. It's either 10 or nine uh, for, for a vegetarian recipe. That's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is put this back in the oven and I have the oven on 375 but I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I'll put it up on the top top rack and basically you're just letting the cheese melt I'm going to turn it up to 400 and you're just going to let that cheese melt and I'll show you what it looks like at the end okay here's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven please do not be jealous because I'm about to eat this <laughs> I'm just kidding it looks so good and this would be like I said nine to 10 grams of protein. You could add a little more cheese. If you use the um, park skim, you could um, add, you know, an ounce and a half or whatever to bump it up even more. You could add some meat under here if you would like, but yum, doesn't that look good? So I'm gonna give it a try and I hope that you will make this recipe. So enjoy, I'll talk again soon, bye-bye.